Hey guys, it's Run the Paleo Dude, and I'm back with a, another video, and this one is Cambrian themed. So all my uh, Cambrian fans out there rejoice, because I just got some cool stuff in the mail that we'll be taking a look at. Uh, the first thing is this 1990, or 19, not 19, I think it's 2009 actually, um, Burgershale uh, Champs hockey card? Baseball card? I don't know. Uh, what, what is this? Yeah, hockey. Um, and it basically came in a natural history lineup with various other prehistoric animals and uh, places, sites, and whatnot. I got it online. It was, I think it was like $5. Pretty pricey, but um, definitely worth it because I'm trying to collect everything Burgershale. It looks like it's from the 1990s. I'm like, holy cow, it's all old and faded looking. And it's got some cool facts on the back. Let's take a look at it. Burgershale, the Burgershale, located near Field, British Columbia, in the Canadian Rockies, is one of the world's most celebrated fossil sites. Placed in the Middle Cambrian Age, it is one of the earliest fossil beds to preserve the soft parts of animals. Burgershale was discovered by American paleontologist Charles Walcott in 1909. And then it says 2008 to 2009 Champs Hockey. So that's pretty sick. I love it. It's got like a Canadaspis or... No, what is that? That looks like Sydnea actually. Yeah, I think that's Sydnea on the front, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but it came in this cool protector case, so that's nice. Uh, so the next thing in this box here, move the box out of the way, I have two Kyoto Dino Tails um, Opabinia figures. <laughs> I saw these online and I wanted to get them for the longest time, so now I finally committed to them. And boy oh boy are they beautiful as heck. Like, the detail and painting on them is phenomenal. Totally accurate. Um, they're a lot better than previous figures and other lineups, um, <laughs> which range in accuracy, I guess. So I got those guys to compare it to. So let's uh, construct these guys, because it looks like this one's trunk has come off. Two of the eyes, the head and the trunk are removable, and then the body's all one piece. It's nice that they came with, like, I think stickers, actually, in a list. So the eyes are in, the head's on. We just need to attach the mouth. Uh, it's kind of loose in there. But since these are models, I assume they're not meant to be moved around that much. But you can see this figure in particular has a very beautiful shiny silver on the trunk. It's a little bit transparent. I mean, the whole body is pretty much transparent, but it's got shiny um, color on it. Kind of similar to modern day arthropods uh, like shrimp. Some, if you've ever seen like a ghost shrimp, it kind of gives off that vibe. Um, it's got these very beautiful, shiny blue eyes, similar to a housefly, and they're positioned quite neatly on the top, sides, and front. Very cute. Aww. If you just cover these ones, you get like these cute little eyes on the front. Oh no, ah! <laughs> so cute. So. That one's pretty neat. I love the color. I couldn't choose between the two, so I just got both. I think there's a third one, um, but that one was pricey. It was like $50. Might be an exclusive from uh, what the title said. But these guys are just the basic ones, so here are the stickers that go with it. Pretty sure they're stickers. Um, got the instructions on the back there on how to assemble it. And then we've got a list of, uh, I guess, the series list. Oh, wow. We've got, we've got a lot of diversity in uh, different species. That's super neat. I, they also have a, um, I think they have Hallucigenia and Anomalocaris, but 
the Anomalous Cars was pretty uh, not accurate. And uh, the Opavinia is pretty cool. Again, it's outdated, but um, I might like to get that one. So this blue Opavinia did not come with a figure list, but it came with stickers. Instructions. Seems like this one's eyes do not come out. Oh, this one looks like it has a different head. Or different eyes. You can see the eyes, the head's a lot longer, and the eyes on the front are positioned closer together. That's very interesting. Everything else looks to be the same. Wow, okay, so it's got slightly different head. I do like the head on this one more, the rounder uh, feel to it. This one's more triangular. Um, this guy gives off a deep sea vibe with the translucent sea to it. And this one here, it gives off a very tropical reef vibe. Um, kind of like a mantis shrimp, if you look at the eyes. They've got all these dots in them. And they've got the lines too. Um, and a lot of shiny blues to it. So very, very tropical looking in nature. It's also got, whoa, what the heck? Oh, they both have these two spikes at the end of the, uh, the body. I, I didn't know that. Um, I don't know how accurate that is, but <laughs> pretty interesting that they ended it in spike tips. Well, I mean, most of these uh, fossils are up for interpretation and whatnot. <laughs> My parents are home. Um, so you're going to hear them in the background. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, no, very cool. They've got a nice light brush on the um, little uh, flaps along the side, little pendages for swimming, and then these feathery-like filaments in between those plates along the body, a nice gradient. You can see it's lighter and then darker on the top on the actual body segments. So light, dark, and they very nicely... Um, highlighted the segmentation with like a brown or beige in color and then these kind of plates for steering on the tail have this green and then the bottom is a nice lighter color I guess that's counter shading so when anything's looking up well I guess you all know this <laughs> and then anything looking down it's darker so that's cool it's got counter shading it's got a, this reef like feel to it and then this one is just shiny and translucent. Probably got to glue this in. It's very loose. And yeah, kind of gives off a deep sea vibe to me that everything's all translucent and lighter in color. <laughs> Darn. Okay, so there they are. Two Kyoto Opabinia and a uh, Champs Burgershale trading card both in the mail at the same time. How cool is that? So I'm very happy to finally have these in the collection because they're just so beautiful and accurate, especially compared to uh, previous Opabinia figures. Um, there's still a few that I need to collect out there. I think there's the favorites collection, Opabinia, and then there's like some larger soft toys and whatnot. Um, but I'm hoping to get them all, uh, hopefully soon and uh, grow my Cambrian collection, models and, and books and whatnot. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I highly recommend subscribing or at least following uh, my Burgershale playlist where I will upload videos like this so you guys can see what other cool Cambrian critters I uh, pick up in the near future. So uh, I'll see you all in the next video then. Bye-bye.